Let's talk about St. Augustine now. Some there not quite as lucky. Dorian pushed water into some homes. Creating an all too familiar feeling of devastation for some people there. Jessica Clark joining us live tonight from the Davis Shores neighborhood in St. Augustine. Good evening and in, indeed there were some homes here in Davis Shores that were flooded and we're seeing what we've seen before where people are bringing out their flooded belongings and putting them on the curbside. You can kind of see this looks like the water line, but it's not. This is the back of a desk. Actually, the water line inside this house was right here. You can see the debris line. It's just that the water then seeped up the back of this uh, particle board here. But you know, out here on Coquina, we're at a road, Coquina and Matanzas. This is kind of an area that saw a lot of water. When we were out here on Coquina yesterday, just before high tide, the water started coming up very, very quickly. And the people who live on the street were very concerned about their homes. We caught up with a woman today. I got flooded again for the third time, so I'm done. I didn't have as much water damage this time, but I'm done. I'm not moving back in, so. Jill Nicolino is doing what she has done after hurricanes Matthew and Irma, dragging out flood damaged belongings to the curb. Wednesday, several inches of water flooded her home on Coquina Avenue in the Davis Shores neighborhood. That water is less than the feet of water the other hurricanes brought, but it's still enough to damage anything that she could not move to the second floor. Nicolino is not sure what she and her teenage son will do next. It's all still so fresh, but she knows after Dorian, she is leaving her home in this low ground. I can't do it. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Just a few minutes ago, I saw her as she was leaving her home and I said, how you doing? She said, I just got to go get some rest. And so she is staying with um, other folks at, at another place just because she cannot be in her home right now. The scene behind me looks a lot like what we've seen with other hurricanes where debris and belongings are on the side of the road. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.